Hello all, welcome to the Reconnaissance for Red Blue Teams course on Pentester Academy. My name is Vivek Ramachandran and I will be the instructor for this course. So what is the agenda? Now as most of us probably know, Reconnaissance is the first and probably the most important step uh, if you'd like to do a pen test or a red blue team exercise. Now, if you do the reconnaissance phase properly, then it can end up saving you a ton of time and also give you a very good idea about which components you should probably focus on during your pen test. So, most of us have done reconnaissance, right? We've, we've gone through looking at SSH servers and FTP servers and whatnot. So in this course, what we primarily want to do is look at new age components. So the idea here is we might later on, of course, still cover our, uh, you know, plain old vanilla SSH and whatnot. But the major focus is going to be on newer components, which many of us may not have encountered during pen tests or might not know too much about. So examples of this include caching servers like memcache, web servers, of course, we all have worked with Apache, uh, but many of us may not have used Nginx or Tomcat or Goonicorn and Tornado and whatnot. After that, you know, things like distributed queues and message brokers like RabbitMQ, Celery, etc. Uh, in data centers, now you have, you know, Docker, Kubernetes and whatnot. And then, of course, NoSQL databases and many, many other components. So this is going to be a long ongoing course because, of course, new components keep coming. And as a pen tester, red blue teamer, you may be required to go ahead and uh, pen test and work with these components. So what is going to be the scope of our interaction with these components in the recon phase? Now, of course, we will look at how we can remotely fingerprint and figure things out using tools like Nmap. But probably the most important thing that we will be doing is actively learning how to interact and work with these components. So as an example, uh, if we pick up memcache, which will be the very first thing we'll do in this course, then let's say you figure out an open memcache server. What can you do with it? Right. So uh, in this particular example, we will look at connecting to the server, you know, looking at the different key values in the in memory cache, seeing what else we can do and run common commands and whatnot. Now, the important thing to note is the scope is really limited to the fingerprinting and learning how to work with these components. We are not going to be covering exploitation, which is going to be a separate course uh, where we will do this in a much more thorough way. Now, the best part of this course is, as you can imagine, setting up all of this could be a big problem. And to save us a ton of time, we are going to be using our own online lab on attackdefense.com to go ahead and work with all of this. Well, that's it. I wanted to keep the introduction very, very short and crisp. See you in the next video and we're going to have a ton of fun. Thank you.